Hi, I'm Brian Hayes. I'm a Salesforce and Pardot consultant with Rotip. We're an official Salesforce partner and we help small businesses automate their processes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use conditional completion actions. If you find this video helpful, take a look at our series on Pardot how to's. You'll probably like some of those videos as well. So completion actions show up in a number of different places in Pardot. Most commonly you'll find them on forms. When somebody fills out a form, then that action is taken for that prospect. But you'll also find them on URL redirects if they click a specific link or page actions as well, if they visit a specific page on your website. But for this video, I'm going to show you how to use it on forms, but same thing applies anywhere else. These completion actions show up in Pardot. So click on the content tab and let's take a look at one of our forms. I've got a standard form here, which I'll just click edit on and then go to step four completion actions. Sometimes you don't want the same action to happen to every single prospect that fills out a form. For example, perhaps you have highly qualified versus low qualified prospects. And you want to treat the highly qualified prospects with a little more urgency, pass them to sales immediately. Or perhaps this, these are new prospects that are coming into the system and you want to assign them to different salespeople in the company based off their responses to that form. Well, with conditional completion actions, you can add that logic directly into the form. So let's say, for example, we want to differentiate between those highly qualified prospects and those less qualified prospects. So. On the completion actions page on a form here, you can add actions with this dropdown, add to campaign, add tags, add to list, send an email, that kind of thing. But you can also now add conditional groups. So if I click add conditional group, that lets me add in a bit of logic. So take action when, and now we could say a prospect grade is a certain level. So here's our prospect grade item. And then the operator will say is greater than let's go with a B. So if they have a grade higher than a B, then perhaps we want to assign them directly to somebody. So I'll say assign the user and we'll assign that prospect directly to David Rose. And let's add another action too. Not only will we assign that person to David Rose, but we might also create a Salesforce task. So here we'll say, reach out to interested prospect. And we'll assign this task to David Rose with a high priority, a status of not started and a due date that's due one day from today. You can also mix conditional actions with general actions. So if I'm outside of this conditional group, I can add the action here. And let's say we want to send all of the people who fill out this form an autoresponder email, just a notification that says we got your form fill. We'll be in touch soon. You can do that with send autoresponder email here, and then just choose that template that you like. We can also create additional conditional groups. You might want to treat people with a grade greater than B one way, maybe people with a grade between C and B a different way. And then anybody that has a grade lower than C or lower than D, perhaps we want to treat them a third way. And you can do that by creating multiple conditional groups that are looking at different pieces of data for that particular prospect that just filled out the form. Everything we've looked at here also applies to page actions and custom redirects as well. So it's a very powerful tool and I recommend you take full advantage of conditional completion actions. I hope this overview helps you. If it did, please hit the like button and click subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, thanks for watching.